What's up everyone, this is FP Sticks bringing you my first Halloween Cup battles here in Go Battle League. Uh, you're gonna see two sets of battles today with me running with this team of Toxicroak, Alolan Muck, and Azumarill. Um, this team performed very well in these particular sets. Um, really the only two losses I had, um, one was from kind of a challenging team comp, but then the other one was from me just kind of uh, not playing super smart, but I really like this team. I feel like a lot of people have um, team comps that are somewhat weak to Toxicroak, so Toxicroak lead can really catch some people off guard. Um, I've been utilizing a Lowland Muck as the safe swap here. You can see the moose sets up on the screen. And then Azumarill in the back. Azumarill, as we know, is one of the best Pokemon in Great League. So anytime it's allowed, um, it's going to be a really solid pick. I know there's a lot of you out there who are like, man, stop posting teams with Azumarill. Well, if, if it's a solid team and if it performs really well, uh, I, I try to bring you all teams that I'm comfortable with, that I have personally tried out and that I have found to be successful. Um, and this team proved uh, to, to do really well. I think at the end of these sets, I ended up at like 31, 42, something like that. So uh, making a decent climb in Halloween Cup so far. This Azumarill moveset is definitely up for debate. I'm not, uh, <laughs> I'm not sold or completely in love with the Ice Beam Hydro Pump moveset because I always get stuck against Azumarills that are running play rough like this. But I, I kind of feel like Hydro Pump is needed for um, nice nukes against the dark poison types or, or the poison types in general. <clears throat> and also against like a, a Wormadam Trash, you're going to be walled if you don't have Hydro Pump. But um, to be honest, I haven't really run into that many um, Wormadams so far. So, But uh, Alolan Muck with Sludge Wave is a decent response to Azumarill. It's not a hard counter, but it can um, <clears throat> it can keep Azumarill in check, which is really good. You see I'm able to take out the Azumarill with the Sludge Wave there. All right, this is the battle where I just play like an absolute idiot. This is an amazing lead, amazing lead. Toxic Croak resists all of uh, Kressel's attacks there. Most people use the Azumarill safe swap. And so with this team, you don't have a hard punish to it. So what I should have done is actually stayed in there with my Toxic Croak a little bit longer, shielded up whatever move my opponent was going to throw before bringing in my own Azumarill here. I also could have brought in my Alolan Muck here instead of my own Azu, um, because my Azumarill is a good response to the Crustle as well. So really kind of dumb play on my part. I don't even have play rough and I brought my Azu onto an opposing Azu that does have play rough. So it's really not great. And now I'm pretty much going to lose switch advantage unless I want to go down two shields. My opponent gets an extra bubble through there, which is not great. Not enough to take it out. Now there is a case to be made that I could shield up right here, but if there's like a B drill in the back or something, if it gets a jump start on energy, I'm going to be screwed. So I'm going to bring out a Lowland Muck to get a jump start on energy. But I, I gave up switch advantage for absolutely no reason, unfortunately. Out comes the Crustal, I store a Dark Pulse, and it's a freaking bee drill in the back, which is terrible for me. Get some nice lag there. <clears throat> also, I don't know what it was uh, yesterday, but I was encountering unbelievable amounts of lag. Um, like every two fast moves, my game would just kind of freeze. So I did a, a hard cycle on my iPhone. I reinstalled the app and hopefully today the, oh man, hopefully today the gameplay will be a little bit more smooth. I don't, cause my, I have an iPhone 8. I have very fast Wi-Fi. Um, I have no apps running in the background, but it's still unbelievably laggy. Unfortunately, this rock slide from the Crestle is going to be able to take out my Alolan Muck because the Smackdowns do so much damage. <clears throat> this was still a close game, but it should have, be, it should have been a, an easy win for me there, but I kind of played it terribly. Good game to my opponent. Okay, Sableye lead is kind of tough. To be honest, I should really just stay in here with Toxicroak. Um... But in my head, I'm like, okay, Alolan Muck and Azumarill both are decent responses to this as well. I tried to catch, um, I tried to catch a Shadow Sneak, but it turns out they were running Power Gem. 
So out comes Grand Bull. I know I'm at least going to get a shield with this Sludge Wave, and I'm only going to get off one move anyway, so I'm just going to go for the nuke. I get a shield. Now, Charmers are very strong right now in Halloween Cup. I think I've actually run into a team where they were rocking double Charmers in the back, and this team still has play against it. You're going to shield right there. Gonna throw the sludge bomb. I'm really hoping they don't double shield. They let it go, which is good for me, but I know Sableye is gonna come out and get a jump start on energy, so I cannot stay in here. Switch into Azumarill, and it's a Venusaur in the back. <clears throat> yeah, it's a Venusaur in the back. This is not good. So I land the Ice Beam, and they don't shield it, which is kind of interesting. They have back-to-back -back frenzies here. Uh, so I have to shield this, unfortunately. And they're going to be able to get to another Frenzy. Uh, they actually go for Sludge Bomb. I'm not sure why. Uh, Ice Beam takes it out. And then uh, they might have just been flexing on me. Because they for sure have this game. Good game. So I think those are my only two losses in these two sets. Because I'm pretty sure I went 8-2 here. Okay, I like this lead a lot. I very rarely bait here because if you fail a bait it feels so terrible because mud bomb just hardly does anything I will shield up the ice beam farming up a lot here <clears throat> I'm trying to cue my charge moves to avoid the azumarill getting in an extra bubble oh I think this is the opponent where I sack swap on them so many times so I catch an ice beam there really good for me they have Galvantula in the back. So I'm wondering if maybe there's an Alolan Marowak in the back as well. It could also be a Kressel. Galvantula is very common. Azumarill is very common. I'm really glad that my opponent let that Ice Beam through. Otherwise, I would be in a world of hurt right now. And then I'm able to throw this Mud Bomb in the middle of their Volt Switch animation to avoid getting hit by another charge move. Down goes the Galvantula. The Azumarill is going to come back out. I'm keeping track of their energy here. Going to throw the Sludge Bomb, and then I think I make another swap <laughs> to catch this poor Azumarill. So I swap right there, and I catch another Ice Beam, which is awesome. It is a Lolan Marowak in the back. So this Dark Pulse is uh, barely not going to be enough to KO, but I'm going to be able to snarl it down perfectly. I will shield once, and then as you will see, I will get just enough energy to land a sludge wave on the Azumarill. So um, all of these sack swaps were pretty, uh, pretty beautiful in this matchup. Obviously, this team does not have a hard counter to a Galvantula safe swap, which is very common right now. It also doesn't have a hard counter to an Azumarill safe swap. So you kind of got to be creative with how you handle that. I'm going to use Alolan Muck as a safe swap. I, I built this team specifically for this. If I encounter an Alolan Marowak in the lead, both Alolan Muck and Azumarill can hang with that. They're staying in here. I don't need to shield up that first Bone Club. They will throw a second one, though, so I'll shield this up. I'm anticipating them switching out here, though. It's a Wigglytuff. So I'm going to go straight for the Sludge Wave. They just totally sack the pink marshmallow. Shadow Gardevoir in the back. So this is a uh, double charm in the back team, which if you are not prepared for this, you're going to get steamrolled. I'm going to go straight for the sludge bomb. I'm only going to get off one move here, but then I'm going to switch out to preserve this toxic croak. And I'm looking pretty good here. <clears throat> Honestly, all I need to do is shield up this move. If they stay in, I farm them down and Hydro Pump the Alolan Marowak. My opponent is recognizing that and getting the heck out of there, but I'm going to throw this Hydro Pump anyways. And the bubbles should be just enough to take out that Gardevoir before the charms add up. Shadow Gardevoir. My goodness. So I'm at uh, 3097 at the point of starting this set here. Toxic Croak and a Wigglytuff, this is not that bad. Obviously, it's not favorable for Toxic Croak, but you're at least going to get a shield advantage out of this. I like to just go straight for the Sludge Bomb and then just get out of there. I'm going to use Alolan Muck as a safe swap. These charms are hitting for neutral on Alolan Muck, and you can see it's just absolutely shredding 
Alolan Monk. Have to shield this up. They're staying in. <clears throat> I was expecting them to switch out at any point there, which is why I kept over farming. They let the sludge wave connect. Out comes the Galvantula. Big mistake here. I could have made it to a sludge wave. Easily could have made it to a sludge wave, but I panicked and I threw. So mistake, thank goodness again that my opponent let that go through because otherwise I would have been in a world of hurt. Gonna bring up my Toxic Croak. My opponent thought that they could farm me down before I got to this move, but that is not the case. I tried to switch into a zoom roll to absorb that Volt switch instead of uh, my Toxic Croak catching it, but they also simultaneously swap. This is where obviously having play rough is a little bit nicer here, but the return hurts. I can't commit the shield there. I have to save it for the discharge that is going to be coming from the um, Galvantula. All I need to do is sneak one bubble in. I'm able to do it right there. So as I shield, the damage is going to be registered on Galvantula and I will be able to take this game there. Good game. Toxic Croak into Zoomerl. I like this lead a lot. The opponent uses Alolan Marowak as a safe swap, which is very interesting to me it is a hex alolan marowak so i'm assuming it's running like shadow ball fire blast probably double nukes but um this person probably intentionally tries to bait out the azumarill with this swap and i'm totally fine with that because uh my azumarill still is at half health they're gonna get a nice farm with their beedrill which is not great that's actually kind of a nice setup that's kind of a nice strategy from my opponent there Bait out the Azumarill, sack the Alolan Marowak, and then just farm to heck with this B. Because now I, I don't really have a response to this. I'm going to bring out Alolan Muck as a sacrifice. I know they still have Azumarill, so I think double shielded Toxicroak is going to be my win scenario here. Have to shield this up. And then they swap. They don't want to be farmed down. This is going to be a very close game here, though. Yeah, this is going to be a very close game. I feel like my opponent, they must not have Ice Beam, because I feel like they over farm like a bunch here at the end, if I remember this correctly. Yeah, I think they have Play Rough Hydro. So again, I'm trying to throw these charge moves to not allow the Azumarill to get in a free bubble. It takes three counters for every two bubbles. That's the pacing there, and then you're realigned. So I'm trying to throw with that alignment there. Uh, I switch into my Alolan Muck there. And this X Scissor is probably just enough to take me out. It is, but then I'm gonna be able to counter down this Beedrill. Good game. I like the Azu leads. Toxic Croak into Tiber. This is like the best possible matchup ever. I'm expecting an Azu safe swap. There it is. The only way to kind of handle this is, um, I'm going to try to soften it up with Toxic Croak. And then what I should do, I, I need to improve the gameplay here. What I should do is right after I throw this Sludge Bomb and I've shielded up Azu's moves, should have swapped into a Lowland Mo Man, they let that go through. Now I have to go down two shields, but I know that this Toxic Croak is going to have a lot of play. So I store up all that energy. And then probably going to get hit by a play rough here, but I'm fully committed to the bubble down on this Azumarill. Azumarill is going to be good against the Tyranitar. It's a Beedrill in the back. Not good. Beedrill with two shields, really not good. I have a Toxic Croak with a lot of energy. I have a full health of Lolan Muck. And now my opponent is out of shields and they still have that Tyranitar that is completely out of energy. So if I can get my Toxic Croak aligned with that Tyranitar again, it's going to be great. I have to bring out a Lowland Muck as a sacrifice here. Fully anticipate getting Drill Runned. I fully anticipate getting Drill Runned. There's a Drill Run. And uh, I knew my opponent was going to try to catch a move there. So I stored my energy, able to farm down the Tyranitar. And now I can double Mud Bomb this B Drill. Shields are down. It'll be just enough to take out this B. Beedrill is very strong in this uh, cup as well right now. Really strong because I actually don't see too many like drift limbs floating around or... So this is obviously a, a really good lead. Uh, my opponent is staying in here. 
So I'm anticipating whatever they have in the back is also weak to Toxicroak. <clears throat> and they're somehow not able to get a move off there. I think there was a little bit of lag on their part because normally I get hit by a rock slide. So kind of weird, but the sludge bomb gets shielded. I'm going to mirror with my own Azumarill. I preserve that Toxicroak because I'm assuming that it's going to have play against whatever's in the back. Should have used my... Um, again, I probably should have used the Alolan Muck safe swap there. Because <clears throat> not having play rough in this mirror match is really obnoxious. It's just so not good for the Azu without play rough. I still have two shields. I'm gonna let it go down. I'm gonna bring in a Lolan Muck, um, but he actually switches out right there. I tried to swap, the game did not let me. So at that point, I'm just like, all right, just gonna stay in with the Muck then. I have energy loaded on my Toxic Croak, so I bring it in and I go for the combo play. This is barely not gonna be enough to take out the Zwilus. Might as well shield this up and get some counter damage. Able to counter down this Wireless, but then I'm gonna get bubbled down before I can get to a move. Not great, but all I need to do is land the Sludge Wave and a Lolan Muck win CMP against the Zoom So I'm gonna be able to take this game there. Good game. And final battle of this video here. Let me know what teams uh, you all have been running in Halloween Cup. I really like the meta. Feels very much like a Sylph Cup, and so I'm used to a lot of these kind of more obscure matchups. We get some nice lag there in the beginning, so I have no idea how much energy my opponent has. Luckily, it's just a Rock Blast. My team does not have a response to a B Drill switch in. So I need to kind of stay in here, soften it up a little bit. Bring out a Lolan Muck. I actually, I know I can tank a Drill Run, but my opponent goes for Fell Stinger right off the bat, which is kind of interesting. I can tank a drill run anyway, so I wasn't going to shield that, but at this point, I cannot take a drill run, especially from a boosted B, but they go for another fell Stinger. That's fine with me. Over farm a little bit, and then I'm going to throw this Dark Pulse. I'm anticipating the Crustle coming back in, but it's not super healthy. This Dark Pulse should be enough to take it out. And what is in the back? It's a Shadow Victory Bell, so luckily Toxic Croak is going to be able to clean this up. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you appreciate the content. More Halloween videos to come. Um, everyone out there, have a great day.